Apple's Reminder app is one of the most simple and powerful apps in the stock app lineup. It's great for adding quick reminders when you're on the go, but it also has more advanced capabilities if you're a more seasoned user and looking to use the app to structure your day, act as a to-do list, or use it for a project. It's really functional with trying to stay organized, and it's one of the apps that I use every single day. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys, this is Shiv, and welcome to my video. Starting with the layout, Apple's done a great job of keeping things simple. The homepage of the Reminders app has five categories pinned to the top by default. Your reminders due today, that are scheduled for today and the future, all reminders, flagged reminders, and the completed list. Then, as you can see below, you have all the lists that I've made and use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've got a to-do list, reminders, a list for YouTube, work, finances, house, and finally, a groceries list. Swiping right on a list lets you pin it to the top of the homepage, and swiping left lets you edit that list or delete it completely. If we go into my to-do list, you can see I have to go grocery shopping this morning, pick up a parcel in the afternoon, and write a script tonight. From the homepage, you have the ability to search for specific reminders, and by pressing the three dots in the top right corner, you can edit your lists and view your templates, which I'll get onto later in the video. The bottom bar allows you to quickly create a new reminder or create a completely new list to add to the homepage. So let's start by creating a new list. This lets you name your list, so let's name it YouTube. You can then choose a type of list, so I'll go for the standard list for now, but I'll cover the others later on. Then pick a color, so I'll go for red, and then an icon to represent that list. This is really useful because not only do you have the default icons to choose from, but you can also choose an emoji if the default icons don't cover what you're looking for. So I'll just choose a reminders icon for now. And then press done. So that creates a new list and you can start adding reminders by pressing new reminder in the bottom left. This gives you a few options. You can either just type a quick reminder to refer to later. So I'll just type update software and press on the list. And it's as simple as that. If, however, you want to add a bit more functionality to this reminder, the app has the capabilities to do that. So let's type buy camera gear. And you can see these icons above the keyboard. The first is a calendar, which gives you options to schedule this reminder for today, tomorrow, this weekend, or a specific date and time, which lets you choose if you want to be reminded earlier and also repeat that reminder, which is useful if you're adding a routine to exercise or take medication every day. The second icon is location, so you can get a reminder when you get to a certain destination. The third is tags, which are useful when you want to set up a smart list. The fourth icon lets you flag that reminder, which can act as a visual cue for the user. And the camera icon lets you add a photo or scan document to that reminder. And as you can see, you can also add notes to your reminders as well. There are even more features available if you press the information icon next to the reminder. There's a capability to add a URL, let the app remind you of something when you're messaging a particular person, set a priority for the reminder, so low, medium, or high, and even add subtasks, which I find really useful. So I can add buy new camera lens and press done. And you can see that this forms a drop down list under my main reminder. Reminders also supports natural language processing. So if I add a reminder for my haircut that is on Saturday, at 10 a.m., you can see it then suggests to add this time and date to my reminder. Don't forget, because Reminders is an Apple stock app, it works seamlessly across all your devices using continuity. For example, if I complete a task, all I need to do is mark that reminder as complete, and you can see how quickly it updates in real time on my iPad. Once you complete a reminder, it goes to your completed list, which you can show or hide by clicking the three dots in the top right corner. This gives you options related to your list. So you can show list info and edit the information we input earlier, select multiple reminders at the same time, choose to sort your reminders manually, or by deadline, creation date, priority, or title, print your list, or delete it completely. But the two best features, I think, are the ability to add a new section, which is a new iOS 17 feature, and to save the current list as a template that you can use in the future. If I add a new section, it then lets me create a subheading within my list, which is great if I'm working on a project. I can call this subheading creation process and press enter and you can see it creates a new section that is separate to my earlier reminders that have now gone into an others subheading. Then I can write film b-roll, write script, 
find backing track, and this is all part of this new section. If I click on the three dots in the top right, I can also view this list as columns, which lets me clearly visualize all my reminders by the section they're in, which is my favorite way to organize my reminders. There's no limit to how many sections you can add, and you can also move reminders from one section to another. Just hold, drag, and let go. Another great feature is the ability to use your current list as a template that you can use in the future. So just for example's sake, if I deleted these reminders, I'm left with my creation process reminders, which I noticed could be a really useful template list for the next video I want to make. So all I have to do is click in the top right, save as template, and rename it new video and save. And you can see it's added to a template icon at the top of my app. Now, if I go to my homepage and click on add list and go to templates, I can now use the new video template for my next list. Once that new list has been created, you can see it already has those reminders included without me having to add them manually, which is super useful. If you've seen my video on how to use Apple Notes like a pro, you'll know that you can add smart folders to your folder structure, which is a really efficient way to sort your notes. And similarly, Apple's Reminders app has the ability to sort reminders in smart lists using tags and filters. This is a great way to arrange your reminders automatically and can save you a lot of time. So for example, I can add a tag to my buy new camera lens reminder called video purchases. Then to make a smart list, press add list from the home screen. I'll name this one things to purchase. And then from the list type, pick smart list. This then lets you select filters so that any reminders that fit that criteria will automatically be added to the smart list. You can choose from tags, date, time, location, flag, priority, or even whole lists. So if I pick tags, any selected tag, I can then click on the video purchases tag I just created. Then when I press done, you'll see the reminder to buy a new camera lens that I created in a different list has automatically been added to the smart list. And it also shows the name of the list that it was originally added to. This is a really efficient feature and can help you when you're trying to collate similar reminders together. The last type of list you can add is a groceries list, and Apple has a really smart feature that makes shopping so much easier. Again, if I click add list and name my list groceries, and pick shopping for the list type, it says that items added to this list are automatically categorized using sections. You'll notice that in this type of list, it says new item rather than new reminder in the bottom left. And as I start to add items to my list, like milk, eggs, cereal, bread, chocolate, and juice, they automatically start getting put together according to the categories they belong to. That means that when you go grocery shopping, you'll be able to pick up everything you need from a particular aisle before moving on to the next one, making sure that you don't forget anything. That's honestly such a simple and smart feature that makes grocery shopping so much easier. To finish off, let's talk about the reminders widget. With iOS 17, these widgets are now interactive, which means you can mark reminders as completed from the widget itself without having to go into the Reminders app, which is really useful. The widget also comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And you can choose which list is displayed in the widget. Just long press on the widget, click edit, and choose your preferred list. That wraps up my in-depth look at the Apple Reminders app and how to maximize its features to help you stay organized. I hope you found this guide helpful and informative, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all things tech and productivity. Let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts on the Reminders app, or some tips of your own, and I'll catch you in the next video.